We're gonna use the Mount Baker Mining and Metal Scrap System to turn this dirty brass into cash. We're gonna run it through one of our Mount Baker Mining and Metals hammer mills, take out all this steel, all this contamination, turn it into clean brass, and increase the value. Here's the ferrous fraction that we pulled out with the magnet. That all came pretty clean. There's one piece here that has some brass on it still. You could pick those out and rerun it back to the mill if you wanted, or just let it all go into the ferrous. And here is the non-ferrous section. I'm gonna do a quick, a real quick and dirty hand sort of this. Pull out the brass, separate it from some of the rubber and the plastic that didn't get pulled out with the magnet, and we'll see what we got. Well, I've got it all sorted into five different piles. This is our yellow brass, all clean yellow brass. A little bit of red brass from some of those more industrial valves. I got a little bit of copper from some of the plumbing. This is all of our non-ferrous waste. A little bit of aluminum and stainless in there, but mostly plastic and rubber gaskets and stuff. And then here's our little bit of ferrous waste. So now what I want to do, this is always the exciting part for me, I want to get all these weighed and figure out our percent recovery. All right, here are our weights. And here is the prices my local scrap yard is paying right now. Number two copper, 290 a pound. Red brass, 230 a pound. Clean yellow, 150. And dirty brass is 70 cents a pound. So now let's do some math on all this and figure out how much value we have. And here's what that math works out to be. Dirty brass, we had 36.2 pounds of all of our fractions together. At 70 cents a pound, that's $25.35. But if you break it up, separate it, remove the trash and the ferrous, because they don't have any value, your total value ends up at 54.26. So over double of what you would have got just taking it in as dirty brass. Well, that was a fun little video to make. I really like taking waste streams and running them through our equipment and adding value to them. It's one of my favorite things to do. Now, don't get me wrong. There's way better ways to sort that brass than hand picking. You can use eddy currents, zigzags, some other equipment we sell. Um, but for this little demonstration, I just wanted to get the difference in value. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, you can find our contact information in the description below. So thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you on the next video.